Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a day in my life vlog.
Ready? 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 Punya buju. Punya tunggu. Tunggu sini. Hey guys, it's currently 7.30, heading back home and yo, the day has started on well and yo, do I wanna go back tomorrow? No, I do not want to, but do I need to? Yeah, and maybe with time, it's a particular momentum and I will love going to the gym because the body I am preparing for myself, am I man? But mostly for myself. <laughs> yeah, so I have a couple motivations. But I will not talk about that now as a day one. I will talk to you maybe after day 21 if I keep up the consistency. So, so easy, let me go. Prepare breakfast. Shower. So you come I'll nap for one hour. I don't know. So let's go see what the day has in store for us. Came with breakfast. Whew, guys, let's get for puke. Let me go to the shower and then no, I'll first take fruits and then go take a shower and then we'll know if Sapo I'll see if I'll have breakfast then. I locked on so sad.
like so strange to be here again at nighttime, but um uh, gratitude and, and tru truly honored to be in the presence of my beloved brother Shahat of because I don't have a lot to change. So if you have a plug for Muslima friendly gym outfits, please plug me on the comment section. I'll really appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. 
A few moments later. Assalamu alaikum, gorgeous friends. So, um, I've just, it's a, it's a few minutes past. It's actually two. And I'm not supposed, no, no, one, one, it's heading to two. I'm not supposed to leave the house this early. I live around 3.50 so that I will take an hour to town and then start my evening classes. But an old friend reached out, wanted us to meet for quick lunch so i decided to go and it's it was something unplanned it, it just came abrupt so i was like why not i will not do it double like i will not go and then come back so i decided to prepare myself go meet up and then after the meeting and if if it ends early i will spend some time with my cousin and then when the time when three comes i will i will leave for town or i just leave for town and i just did not want to come back home then leave so i'm prepped that's the outfit for the day and see you around right <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys so i got home right in time for isha so i just had my prayer and i want to have dinner to, tonight i'm having i'm having mukimo which i had prepared 
and I actually filmed the recipe but it did not make to, I did not record like the final so I guess I'll just insert the short recipe that I made and what I'll have for the leftover so tonight I'm not cooking and something interesting I learned today in 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 class in madrasa something that really it, it was interesting and a lot of sharing to people who when you 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 for those people who just attack islam without getting to really know what islam really is so one of the things one of the things that's very very that's a pillar of faith in islam we call them guzo of faith is is listening like kusoma vitabu we we do classes in swahili so like i'm trying to to do both in english and swahili so that i may accommodate everyone that watches my content and guys i'm glowing yo alhamdulillah <laughs> so i'm digressing so for the vitabu something interesting is that the first book the first book it it came in jil which which you call in and it came with prophet isa which is who is jesus christ jesus christ is prophet isa in islam and he's the one who came he's the prophet who was sent by god with the angel and yeah he performed a miracle he performed miracles and he is a prophet to us muslims we just don't consider him as the son of god two there is zabur which you call zaburi which was written by prophet daud prophet david the other one was taurat which was written by prophet musa but this this ain't a book this this are like you, you've read you've read i guess you've read in the bible the one it wasn't a book they were like pallets yeah it was written in a stone i guess if i'm wrong please correct me down on the comment section the other one was sahuf it was written by ibrahim and now the last one the last book it was written by prophet muhammad these words were delivered to him by god and okay there's a malika there's a messenger who sent and so it was written by prophet muhammad and it was the last revelation and good thing about the quran it contains everything it contains the injil it contains the zabur the taurat and the suhuf it contains all of them and the difference between quran and the other books is that this one this message was sent specifically to the israelites you see and the israelites will can exist kitamu now for us it was delivered to prophet muhammad peace be upon him as the last book and to us that's why it never changes it was written as the last no addition no no addition and no sub sub subtraction yeah hakuna ku minus hakuna ku add anything so yeah that's something interesting that i learned today in class and if i find anything more interesting i'll be sharing with you guys because now I love and I would love to see you guys revert to to Islam because it's it's sweet. So now the plan is to have dinner and then take my evening shower and then sleep because tomorrow is another day to hit the gym. So let me sign off now but I, I'll still continue filming but as for now thank you for joining in. Thank you for watching my content. I'm your girl Eve Hawa to anane till the end don't forget to like subscribe and share